Hi everybody, this is Tevist with the Arcus 5 Android tablet. It's a gorgeous device. I'm not going to show you the media or internet capabilities, which are great. But I wanted to show you that these tablets are in fact perfectly capable to act as fully functional mini laptops. The touch screen is nice and all, and although the on-screen keyboard is not bad, sooner or later you wish you had some more uh, robust input devices, like a keyboard and a mouse. Luckily this thing has Bluetooth and supports the HID profile for human interface devices. This is a foldable Bluetooth keyboard. It's impossible not to love them. So cute. And I'm going to show you how to pair it and use it with Yorkus 5. So let's go to the Bluetooth settings. Bluetooth is already on. As you can see, there are no devices yet. I'm going to set the keyboard in discovery mode. The green light is blinking. And when I press scan for devices, it finds a keyboard. I click pair with this device. We have to enter a pin code. Let's take 111. And we have to repeat the pin codes on the keyboard. One. And it's pairing. There it is. You can see when I press the cursor keys, my selection is following. And you see that the keys also work in here. So when I go to my email, there's a mail about block action day. And when I hit reply, I can just use my keyboard instead of the on-screen one. Let's zoom in a bit. The annoying part is that, as you can see, I have an uh, Azerti keyboard, but when I type, it's in QWERTY, so I haven't quite figured out how to change that, but no big. Okay, let's get back to the Bluetooth menu, because next to a keyboard, it's nice to have a mouse. This is a Bluetooth mouse. Let's turn it on and put it in discovery mode. The green light is blinking. Scan for devices again. And there it is. I'm going to pair with this device. I have to enter a code again. It's zero, 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 zero. Connect. And there it is. I even have a mouse pointer. The scroll wheel is working too. And I can control everything with the mouse too. Next up, the cherry on the pie. Uh, for me, this is a must-have feature, and it is remote desktop. So luckily, Walter Wang has created a remote desktop client for the Android platform, and it's working surprisingly well on Yarkus 5, especially as the developer has never tested it on a device with uh, such a large screen for an Android device. I already pre-configured some PCs, so when I click, for example, this one, it makes a connection. And there's a Windows server running on my Android device. Pretty cool! By the way, this is not over a local network, it's actually a remote server. Let's take another one, also a remote server. This one is running Photoshop. Pretty fast. 
although working with graphical programs on a remote desktop is a bit laggy, it's quite usable. Sadly, it's not full screen. The Android menu bar is still showing and taking up space, but I can zoom out or drag the screen around. This is Dreamweaver running. As a web developer, I'm actually doing most of my development through remote desktop, so I'm quite pleased with this. The keyboard layout is also correct now, it's Azerti. And, well, the mouse is a bit tricky as there is no right click available in the Windows environment, because the right clicking gets you to the Android menu which you can use, for example, to send keystrokes like uh, Ctrl Alt Delete. Instead, the left mouse button has a triple function. Uh, fast drag drags the entire screen round. A slow drag, so when I click and hold for a while before dragging, selects the text. And a click and hold without dragging acts as a right click as it is with most mobile devices. The clipboard is shared between platforms, so I can copy this text, and when I go back to the Android platform, I can paste it right into the text fields here. Neat! Copy and pasting between platforms, and even better, also the file system is connected. So back into the Windows Remote Desktop, I have access to a drive called SD card on Android phone. And when I open that, I can access my Android file system. Let's zoom out again. So this is a pretty cool mobile setup, the Arcos Android tablet with a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. I'm going to try this for some time as my traveling gear, so we'll see how it goes. Well, it must be said that the Arcus tablet is still a little bit unstable. I had two crashes during the course of this demo, which is way too much, of course. So if you're not a geek, this is not a gadget for you. But if you are, man, you are so going to love this Arcus 5 thing. I know I do. So that's it. This was Tefist with the Arcus 5 Android tablet.